St. Vincent and the Grenadines Christian Council, Easter message 2022. Luke chapter 24, 5b. Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Dear brothers and sisters, greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior. At this glorious Easter time, life is indeed the key word as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ and his victory over death and the grave. Watchman Lee reminds us our old history ends with the cross. Our new history begins with the resurrection. The writer of Luke's gospel tells that the women's group consisting of Mary Magdalene, Johanna, Mary the mother of James, and others went to the tomb on the morning after the Jewish Sabbath in order to carry out the last acts of love to their departed loved one. At the same time, used the spices to embalm the dead body of Jesus. To their surprise, they saw that the large stone at the entrance of the tomb had already been rolled away. And on entering, no body of Jesus was found. Afterwards, two unknown persons told them that Jesus was not there, but had risen. And they reminded the women of what Jesus had previously told them about himself. Judas's earthly ministry was punctuated by spectacular miracles, but nothing compared to the miracle of this glorious resurrection on the first Easter morning. In fact, ever since, endless numbers of persons have experienced a revolutionary change in their lives because of the risen Lord Jesus. It meant that they experienced a new history. Theologian Paul Altus said, the resurrection proclamation could not have been maintained in Jerusalem for a single day, for a single hour, if the emptiness of the tomb had not been established as a fact. Unquote. The resurrected Jesus is not a figure in a book or a memory. He is the living presence. For the Christian life is not a matter of knowing about Jesus, but knowing him. Because Jesus is alive, the experience of faith coming alive is real. For us residing in this homeland of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Easter 2022 is occurring in the current season of a widespread renewal of the landscape from the ravages caused by the eruption of La Sophia in April 2021. At the same time, though, there are some persons who still don't have a house of their own and so have not been able to return home. Furthermore, because of unemployment or hardships of one kind or another, some have not yet returned to their regular means of income. We must be very concerned for these, our brothers and sisters, for their livelihood is still a challenge. We therefore ought to continue helping them prayerfully, generously, and joyfully whenever necessary. Additionally, the substantial reduction in COVID-19 infections has enabled our government to remove the gathering restrictions, thereby permitting our worship experiences to be more populous. 
it is vital that we, the church, hasten to join the government in reminding all residents of St. Vincent and the Grenadines that the COVID-19 pandemic is still raging worldwide and we should continue to heed the protocols of wearing a face mask, social distancing, and vaccination. The two foregoing realities have certainly reinvigorated us and our psyche has been buoyed by a lesson of the tensions and resulting mental anguish, thereby causing many to be happier and even more relaxed while embracing the opportunities for our thanksgiving and interactions. At the same time, these realities have raised two questions for our consideration. Firstly, are we wholeheartedly giving thanks to Almighty God for His grace and mercy towards us over the past months? God's love is unconditional and we ought to yield ourselves to Him as we come to grips with the awareness that we are helpless outside of Him and that in spite of us being sinful and rebellious, God loves us with an everlasting love. As we become grateful and sincerely and wholeheartedly give thanks to God, our lives are transformed and we become rejoicing people even in adversity. Secondly, do we intend to live harmoniously with all persons? The uncontrollable volcanic eruption and global spread of COVID-19 infections ought to have reminded us of the frailty of human life and our helplessness apart from God. Let us therefore reset our lives and continuously worship God, the Almighty and Eternal One, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, so that our lives may be filled with love, peace, joy, and hope. Let us avoid the rat race of striving for mere material acquisitions that leaves us stressed, angry, and insensitive to the needs of others. So then, brothers and sisters, in this season of new life, we plead for love, hospitality, generosity, and compassion, and a renewed embrace of community to foster intensified goodwill and harmony. Also, in this season of Jesus' resurrection, let us hail the power of good over evil and avail ourselves with a glorious opportunity for spiritual connection with God in Jesus Christ, thereby motivating us to commit to living faithfully and wholeheartedly. May the present and future reflect the power of God, the grace of Jesus Christ, and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. A very happy and holy Easter to every man, woman, boy, and girl. Bishop Gerard Conti, Roman Catholic Church. Bishop C. Leopold Friday, Anglican Church. Reverend Philbert S. Delaney, Methodist Church. Major Ernest Gaslin, Salvation Army. I thank you.